Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on my awesome tutorial channel. Today we are going to be discussing fly rolls, other types of, you know, rolls, uh, and also how to integrate roll chips into your CV2 things. Um, just a quick announcement, if you uh, don't care really about the announcement, uh, this is more about the channel and stuff I'm posting in the future, you can just skip to this timestamp right here. Um, and enjoy the tutorial. For those that are still here, I would just like to bring up that we are coming about halfway there to my 100 subscriber milestone, and I would just like to um, kind of announce that I have something pretty big planned. I am gonna be doing a quote-unquote mega circuit marathon, where basically I'm gonna be posting very important um, and useful CV2 tips and tutorials every day of a week, maybe twice a day, uh, for the whole week, just as a little celebration for 100 subscribers. So if you want to see that, um, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I start the marathon or if it even happens. Uh, I've been trying to get more motivation for YouTubing, so hopefully that can pick up as I gain more subscribers and they're able to help more people learning to do CV2 and learning to grow their rooms with these mysterious mind-boggling gadgets. Anyways, with um, that blabbling aside, let's get right into learning how to use rolls. So, just as a little like brief um, description of what a roll is, if you don't already know, a roll is basically um, these parameters that will change the way a player moves or does things in a room. For example, being able to fly, or being able to run faster, walk faster, sprint at all, or even move at all. Um, and it's all controlled within this chip right here, and it is compatible with CV2 with some certain chips. So let's get right into those chips and how to use them in certain scenarios in your room. So here we kind of have our main um, things that you might be using when uh, working with rolls, I believe there's not a lot of other things you can, or other chips that are related to rolls, maybe some um, other more abstract chips, but these are the main ones for players and stuff like that. So uh, as you can see here, we can add rolls and remove rolls with the CV2 chips, but something to keep in mind is even if you, you know, set a roll to like, we'll just say fly. Um, and you know, you get a button hooked up to that to make it so the player can fly when press the button, or get the roll to fly when pressing the button. The player will still not get the roll even when the button is pressed, and that is actually because there is not a roll yet for the fly. Um, so this is when this chip comes in. This is currently still in CV1, I believe. Uh, and this is kind of like a mid-range. Um, it's in the style of CV1 though. And I'm sure eventually there will be a, probably a roll constant chip, something like that. But for now, we get this thing out and we configure it. Uh, we are gonna set it to be named Fly, because that's what the roll is called over here in this chip. And then we are gonna just check this can fly box to yes. So, as you can see, when I don't have my maker pin out, can't fly right now. Push the button, now I can. So that is essentially kind of the um, main um, things with uh, rolls and such is you've got your um, CP1 chip kind of explaining what the roll is, the name of the roll, stuff like that. And you got your CV2 chips to remove, add the rolls. Um, you've also got these two chips over here, and you can grab a player and uh, see if they have a roll available. These two basically work the same, except this one kind of just has an internal if on it. This one you kind of have to put an if next to it. Uh, this one is currently in beta at the time of making this video. So we also have this chip over here called get all players with roll. So Essentially, it's kind of the same as all these other ones, except it is going to um, take the inputted uh, roll, so we're just going to set it to fly, because that's the only roll we have. Fly. And then it's going to output a list of one players, because there's only one person in this room, and it's me, and I have fly. Um, 
if I were to hook this up so it removes the roll when the button is pressed, and we can set this to fly. That is not fly, this is fly. And then we move the roll, and check. This has now a list count of zero. There are a number of ways to use rolls uh, as far as, you know, making rooms goes, but one of the most common things I see people using is just a simple fly roll um, or a fly room key. Uh, room key is essentially just something you can buy to get permissions to do something else or maybe like a buy a gun or something like that. Essentially, it's just purchasing something in the room uh, that gives you permission to use it. Um, so in this case, we want it so when the player purchases this room key, they'll be able to fly. Um, I don't have, uh, I don't have Requiem Plus right now, so I can't really show it off, but if I could, this is how it would work. You would get the room key constant, and then you would configure it. Um, and as you can see, there's nothing really here, because I don't have Requiem Plus. But if you were to be able to, you know, have Requiem Plus and do the room key stuff, you would set your room key in the settings, hook that up there, and then get this update 30 hertz, uh, hook it up there, and that is basically just going to check if the player owns the room key. We are going to get if key, or sorry, if chip, and we're just gonna slap that right there. And then we are going to get the player add roll chip from earlier. And we are just going to hook this up. So if player ends key complete, uh, then it will add fly. And obviously, this isn't like an actual key, so it's not really going through. But if you have a key in here hooked up, doing its work, it will come through here just fine and add the fly roll to a player if they own the key. And this works locally, that's why there's nothing hooked up here. It will work on everyone's device and separately kind of run to make sure every single person, if they own the key, they get the fly. People who don't own the key, they don't get the fly. So that's about it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something about roles and maybe a little bit of room keys so you can put them in your rooms and have people spending money so they can fly around or maybe just go a little bit quicker. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and if you learn something new or maybe appreciate watching these videos, I would very much like it if you liked, subscribed, maybe turn the bell notifications on so you're notified of when I drop my next video. Uh, as specified earlier in the video, I will be doing a marathon as soon as we hit 100 subscribers where I'm just chugging, making videos one after another with helpful tips, maybe some tutorials on how to use CB2 so you can strengthen yourself when making your rooms, making them just a little bit better. Uh, I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!